Welcome, I'm Jennifer Ray, and in this series, I aim to provide inspiring and empowering high-level health strategies. In particular, I pay attention to food as medicine and herbal medicine. In today's video, I'll be focusing on what we call the common cold. So in Eastern medicines, illnesses can have various natures, some hot and some cold. In today's video, I'll be focusing on what thermal nature your common cold is and how to treat it. Eastern systems of medicine recognize that illnesses have different energetic characters. So while Western medicine may diagnose a number of people with the same condition, Eastern medicine will recognize that each of those people have a different energetic diagnosis. For example, when you have a common cold, your symptoms will present differently than say your friends or your child's. This is because the cold may be due to different kinds of bacteria or viruses, but it can also be due to your particular constitution and your particular weaknesses. In Eastern medicine, there are a few basic types of common colds. First, it can be helpful to decipher whether your common cold Cold is hot or cold. This will help to determine whether you should use cooling or heating herbs and foods. It can also be helpful to determine how much mucus or what we call damp or ama is in the body. This kind of stagnation really slows the body down and is a breeding ground for pathogens. For most infections or weaknesses in the body, it can be helpful to cut out or reduce sugar and focus on a whole plant-based diet, especially focusing on lots of green foods. This will help to reduce inflammation in the body and support the body in healing overall. Many people also find that they're not very hungry in the first few days of a common cold, and so limiting food to just simple broths can be quite helpful. If your condition is more cold, you'll have more aversion to cold, you'll have more aches and pains, more tendency towards headaches, and your mucus will be more dilute or runny. In this case, you'll want more warming or heating herbs and foods. So things like what we call shengjiang, which is ginger, guizhi, which is cinnamon, or even using something like garlic would be really great for you. Remember to stay warm and especially protect this area around C7, so right at the top of your back. This is an area where pathogens are thought to enter the body. So you can also take a warm bath, do a sauna or a steam. Um, afterwards, after the bath, for example, you can wrap yourself in lots of blankets, get in bed and just make yourself sweat. So that's really great if you have a cold, common cold. If your condition is more hot, you'll have a tendency to feel hot. You may have a fever, you'll have thirst, maybe a sore throat. Your mucus will be more sticky and yellow and you may have sweating. So in this case, you'll want to lead more towards having more cooling remedies and cooling herbs. So something like bohu or what we call peppermint um, would be a really great herb for you. You can also use juhua, which is chrysanthemum flower. This is a herb that's used for a cooling summer tea in many parts of Asia, and it's especially helpful if you have red or dry itchy eyes. If you're congested and have a lot of mucus, make sure that you eliminate dairy and eat very simply so that your body can eliminate all that excess sticky damp or ama. And remember, all of the basics still apply. So drink lots of water, get plenty of rest, and take high amounts of vitamin C at this time. That can also be quite helpful. If you tend to get colds easily, make sure that you support your immune system by reducing stress and getting plenty of sleep. You can also take the formula called Jade Windscreen. This is Yu Ping Feng San. So this formula is especially helpful if you notice that you do get colds quite often. You also tend to be tired and weak and you spontaneously sweat quite a bit. So this formula wouldn't be good if you have night sweats. Another formula would be more effective for you. So now you know a few different forms of the common cold and how to treat them. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and how you treat your common cold. Thanks for watching, and if you get over to jenniferray.com and sign up to my mailing list, I promise to provide you powerful information that inspires you to reconnect with how deeply capable you are of finding your highest health potential. See you next time for another Wellness Wednesdays.